Welcome everyone, it is Andrew here from iDownloadBlog and today we have another app roundup, this time the best RSS readers for iPhone and iPad. So getting right into it, first up we have Reader 3. Reader has made it into the coveted essential section of the App Store and for good reason. You can add tons of different accounts or syncing options into here, but you also, which is what's important for this video, you can add a straight RSS feed. So if you have one available, you can go ahead and add that manually and not need any of those other services. There's tons of different configurability options, including whether or not you want to see the unread count on the app icon. When you go into RSS, you'll see all the different feeds you have with the unread on top. If I go into the I download blog feed, we have three options on the bottom for favorites or the starred ones, unread or all for this feed. It makes it really easy to stay organized because you can sort by RSS, then by feed, and then unread, favorited for that individual feed. When you go into a particular article or post on the bottom, you can mark as unread, favorite it, go to the next or previous article, and share. Sharing is really important when it comes to an RSS reader, and this has by far the most options. There are a ton in here, including Pocket or even Safari's reading list, but you still have options for the standard iOS share sheet. There's also a ton of options for customizing the user interface between different background colors like a gray, black, or a night mode. You can adjust the alignment of the title text, the size of the text, and even the font family if that's more what you're into. On the far left hand side of the app is a few different options as far as settings go, but mostly it's just enabling and disabling different sharing services. This is available for iPhone and iPad with one purchase of $4.99. You can find the link below in the description. Next up on the list is Unread. Unread is probably my favorite reader as far as looks go. It is super simple and just a pleasure to use. Unfortunately, you do have to have an account to go along with it. So just another step you have to set up. So if you have Feedbin or Feedly, you have to sign up for that first and then add it into Unread. Unread is absolutely free for iPhone and iPad, but there is a paid version of $4.99, just the regular price to upgrade to the more premium version, but it mainly just unlocks unlimited articles and a few themes. So if you only check into this you know, once or twice a day, then you can probably get by with just that free version. It breaks down on top all the unread, all and saved articles, as well as your different categories and your feeds in general. When you go into a feed, you'll notice there are no toolbars, nothing to get in the way, just straight content, which is really what RSS is about. There's also lots of gestures. I can swipe to the left to go back. I can swipe up or down to refresh or go to the next article. And on the right, I can bring up this little menu where I can share or save or favorite any of these articles. If I have the pro version, I can even unlock those themes. Using share simply opens up the iOS share sheet, so nothing really extraordinary here, but it gets the job done. As I said, this is available for both iPhone and iPad, and this is probably my favorite in terms of usability. I just wish I could add an RSS feed directly. Next up on our list is Newsify. It basically takes your RSS read and turns it into almost a newspaper of sorts. Luckily, you can add straight RSS feeds, you can view it as this newspaper type look, or you can switch it to a standard list view, but I prefer the more dynamic newspaper kind of look to this. When you're in an article or post, you can view on the web with the browser icon on the top. You can mark unread, star as a favorite, switch your post, or share using the built-in share sheet and a few other options. While not as many as on Reader, there are still quite a few of them here, and you can enable or disable the ones that you'd like to see. Adding content here is very simple. Simply swipe all the way to the left inside of the application and you can see any sources that you have. The plus button allows you to simply paste a URL. So if I have my RSS feed URL, I can just put it into the list or I can actually search through any of these categories and pre-populated list that Newsify has already provided us. Since Newsify is free, it does have ads which are quite annoying sitting down here at the bottom, but I guess that really does make it feel like a newspaper, right? Uh, but if you do want to get rid of those, there's a one-time purchase of $2.99. However, you can upgrade to premium, which has additional features like more images, full text search, um, and it'll also remove that banner, which you can do for $2.99 a month or $30 for the entire year. 
The app does support night mode, which is always handy, but even better, they have an auto night mode where it'll automatically switch to dark in the evenings. Unfortunately though, especially if you don't have premium, those ads really stick out in night mode. They are just really bright and white and just sit there at the bottom of the screen. So I really recommend at least at a minimum removing those ads, if not upgrading to premium entirely. Newsify is available for iPhone, iPad, and Apple Watch. Next up on our list is Feedly. Now Feedly is more of a sync service as well as an application itself. So it has two different parts. It helps you explore and find content as well as actually a great application that you can simply add an RSS feed to. On the left hand side, you can see any feeds that I subscribe to as well as how I've grouped those together. Like I can put some of my articles into that gadgets folder. On the right hand side, there is a ton of pre-populated options. I can search for topics or publications or if you have your RSS feed URL, which, which is what we're looking at, you can actually just paste it in there and add it manually. So that's how I was able to add anyone that I wanted. There are quite a few different sharing options here in the app, as well as a few customization options. I can decide how I want to display my articles, a kind of big one image view or more of a list view. There seems to be quite an emphasis on Twitter here inside of the application itself. On the bottom, you can visit the website or hit share. Hitting share prompts up a little tweet sheet where you can send out a tweet. But there's also a Twitter icon here at the top, so I can also just send out a tweet from clicking the Twitter icon. As well as a third option, if I hit the more button, I can actually come in here and hit the share button here and it'll also take me to the share sheet where, once again, I can post to Twitter or anything else in the stock share sheet. On the top, I can bookmark this or add it to a folder or grouping. So maybe this is about a gadget, the Apple TV. I wanna put it into my, my gadgets folder. My biggest problem with Feedly is it's more about using their content they are providing and it's actually was kind of difficult to figure out how to add a URL manually by myself. There also weren't a ton of customization options either. You're pretty much stuck with the UI and the layout that they have. Again, Feedly really is important if you're looking to maybe discover some RSS feeds, but many of them do that, but it still is a great reader if you're just simply wanting to add your own. Feedly is available for iPhone, iPad, and Apple Watch. And our honorable mention on the list is Flipboard. Flipboard has been around quite a while now and it's a really beautiful app. It basically is kind of a magazine style layout for your news. You can simply flip through the pages and see what you have. So you subscribe to topics and they present you news stories. The second tab over allows you to show who you're following or people or applications that you wanna kinda of tie it into. Third, we have search, so you can search for different news topics or publications that you'd like to follow. But a fun fact is you can actually enter an RSS feed right here. So my I download blog RSS feed, I can actually tie right into that and then add it to my following page by clicking on that top right hand corner. So tapping that check mark will unfollow since I'm currently subscribed. But now when I go to who I'm following, you can see at the bottom I have I download blog. So I'll have all the latest content here. So you still can use this as a simple RSS reader has a lot of different sharing options, and it still looks really gorgeous. So you can use this as a standalone RSS reader, or you could use it for what Flipboard really is in that news style magazine. There still are other options that you have, like where you wanna store this, like you can put it into different folders, group things like you can with Feedly and many of the others. So really is up to you, but if you would like to pick up Flipboard or Reader or Unread, Newsify, Feedly, any of the other ones that we've covered, you can find all the links for them down in the description below. Another one to mention is iPad only, but that's Mr. Reader, and we've talked about that in the written post over on IDB. Please go ahead and subscribe to this video so we can keep doing more roundups. And until next time, this has been Andrew for iDownloadBlog.